name is Jan Abel Hoopen Jonks, South Africa's most famous pet psychic. During these crazy times, my clients send me home videos of their mental case pets. The following footage is my readings for this week. Welcome to Yana's Yard. Hello, my darlings. Isn't this series fun? It's it's quite a hoot for me sharing these these videos with you each week, and I I appreciate the comments, darlings. Uh, perhaps I'll do some merch. Okay, sweethearts, let's get on with this week's cats. Okay, just taking a reading from this feline, and I see it's a it's a very common situation here. People buy what they think is a black cat, and it turns out to be a black panther kitten, and uh, it'll grow up into a full-size panther, and it kills the family. Um, I've seen it time and time again, uh, and that's what we've got here. He's talking to me now, and he's telling me that the children don't realise uh, he will eat them once he's full-size. Um, they've certainly got a grim future ahead of them. Uh, my, my heart goes out to this situation. Orange cat here, being tormented by children, no doubt. Um, he seems on edge. Uh, he's telling me, he's talking to me now and he's saying that he's concerned something very bad is going to happen to him. And uh, very worrying. You can see it in the eyes. And here we go. Here it is. The panther is obviously sizing up the orange cat, sizing up the prey. And the orange cat's concerns are very much warranted. Um, these panthers are hunters. Uh, they will eat a domestic cat in one foul swoop, usually ripping the head off, uh, decapitation. Uh, that's what, that's what he's telling me now he wants to do to the orange cat. And there he is, sniffing the tail meat, uh, imagining slurping that, uh, tail in like a piece of spaghetti. Uh, he's imagining what seasoning he might add to the cat meat. And he might pair it with a red wine or, or something of some sort, as panthers are known to do. Very, very distressing scene here. I wish I could help. The orange cat is none the wiser, living in ignorant bliss. Oh God, there's a white one too. Uh, the panther here lining up its prey. He knows I know and he's saying, don't give away my game, your honor. I won't, darling. I've, I've fallen for this myself in the past. The, uh, the misidentification of a young animal leading to disaster. I, I, years ago, I once bought um, what I was told was a dark brown koala bear, moved it into my treehouse, and uh, we became very close. And then as time passed, it grew into a, a very large grizzly bear, escaped and ravaged the town, and uh, horrible scenes. We did lose one gentleman, uh, one of the drunks from the pub, so no huge loss. Uh, but, but I'll never forget the blood-curdling screams that day. There we go, stretching the paw there, dreaming of his, of his future orange furry feast. Uh, oh, he, he wants that spaghetti bad. He's saying to me, Daddy wants cat spaghetti. Uh, panthers are terrible and can't be trusted. Oh, God, look at him. It's very sad, poor little guy there, soon to be nothing more than a turd in kitty litter. Very, very sad. Ah, the honky-tonk cat, uh, tinkling the ivories. Very musical. Uh, play me a tune, white guy. That's, that's what I said to when I, when I met Billy Joel, one of my celebrity clients. Um, nice guy, but very bad breath. This cat's talking to me and it's saying, Yana, I simply have to play the piano, but my paws don't have the weight to really, really slam down those notes. He's saying he wants to play... Great balls of fire, um, but you can only master the intro to Run Away by Kanye West. Just the one note piece. Um, still a good song, nonetheless. And back I'm late, darling. I'm, I'm very musically retarded myself. And Poor thing. There he goes. That's playing the note from uh, Run Away. And now he's, uh, he's throwing up into the vase. I'm sick of it, he's telling me. I don't blame you, darling. Let that vomit out. Well, not, not the most attractive face there. Uh, Roland from Botswana and his flea-ridden friend, Clancy. Uh, not much coming off these two. 
Hmm. Okay, we've got a kitten in the bush, uh, relaxing there. Lovely. And oh, something scared it. Perhaps it's the panther. So, uh, the piano playing cat again on a windowsill, very distressed here. Clearly lost its marbles over the piano issue, and it's uh, trying to eat its own tail. The cat as a meat is a very, very delicious. Obviously don't myself condone the cat meat industry, of course, but I have... Guilty as charged, I have dabbled in some dried cat tail. Very chewy and uh, nutty flavour. Notes of, uh, of nutmeg in there. Is that even the piano cat? I don't, I don't know. Okay, is that dead? No. There's a breath there. Still alive. And he's telling me, he's saying, Yon, I'm having a nightmare. And he's, he's saying it's a wedding scenario and he's been forced to marry a human. Oh, darling. Wouldn't be that bad, would it? Concerned Tabby on the floor here, maybe worried that uh, someone will step on the tail because it's so camouflaged into the lino. Perhaps intentional. Ah, oh, William from Cape Town, up on the toes. Very homosexual cat, if ever I've seen one. A theatrical swoosh of the tail, definitely gay. Oh God, what in God's name's going on here? Very fast moving. It's uh, Jeremy and Ponty from Durban. Uh, this is going to trigger my epilepsy. Punty, the black black and white one, is telling me she's lost her engagement ring and Jeremy is going to give her what for if she can't find it. Very, very stressful situation here. I can relate, darling. I, I swallowed my mother's wedding ring as a child and we had to sift through my doo-doo for, for weeks. Oh, God help these two. Anyway, that's it for this week's Yarner's Yard. Join me for more next week. Bye, darling.